North Queensland to Alice and Louis Edgar Coburn on September 23rd, 1925. As a boy, I grew up with uh, reproductions of artists like um, Streeton, uh, Hans Heysen and people like that. I used to copy their work in watercolours when I was young. I've got a, uh, it was my mother's uh, picture at home of Pinocchio. You know the old, and, and it's perfect, it's absolutely perfect. Well, he would have only been about 12 or 13. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come to Sydney to study art. So I think it all started when mum and dad met at art school. It must be one of the great experiences of life to go to art school and fall in love with your forever partner and it's exactly what happened to them. And mum suggested to him to paint a garden. Well dad told me that that was a light bulb moment for him. He went back to the canvas and what resulted was the beginning of the inspiration behind his abstracted symbols. I think that was really one of the beginnings that spawned his graphic style. Yes, well it's called a territory landscape. So it is a landscape with the, uh, the red earth at the bottom and the sky above that and the horizon. It's filled with uh, shapes, abstract shapes that are a satisfying arrangement uh, in the landscape. I keep painting away and um, hoping that everything will come out in the end. I can't do the big works that I used to do um, now, but uh, I've, still, I've still got a lot of paintings in my mind which um, are waiting to come out. In a career that spanned more than 60 years, John Coburn took Australian art to the world. He interpreted Australian landscapes and culture, the shapes and colours of our country, as well as religious motifs, in a way that few artists have ever attempted. He is, without a doubt, one of the world's most significant abstract artists, following in the footsteps of the grand old masters of modern art. <laughs>